Yo, Real 92.3, Bootleg Kev, DJ Head. West Coast. This guy's album, One Up, is out right it's now. It's out officially, right now. God damn it. Teddy Penderass down is here. T-Pain, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Me, 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 me. You got an album legend. out, my friend. I do have an album out. It is weird. Plug your shit. It, it, one Up, the album is out right now. It just dropped a couple seconds ago. But, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a fire Cheers. album. You're not Let's getting have, these glasses let's back. Let's have some alcohol. Okay. <laughs> just give it a honey with you. I'm born and raised that late. I'm keeping these glasses. <laughs> That was some bullshit. West Coast. West Coast. <laughs> well, hey, listen. I was like, these shits are hard. Right. They got Bluetooth. They got Bluetooth you can see through shit. Yeah, Bluetooth speakers on them. You I can like talk these. You can talk, you know. Shout out to T Pain. Absolutely. So, yeah. when, when, when your phone rings, it says, call from, and it says the person that's saying it. That's these things speak uh, Chinese and shit. They don't, though. They don't. They no. don't. You got to stop. <laughs> Safe to say, crazy. quite possibly a Chinese person made them. Facts. Some possibility. Possibility. In anyway. <laughs> Pain. Um, yo, man. Uh, uh, I just got to give you props, bro. I feel like you're, you're one of the more influential artists of the last 20 years or so, you, man. Thank and, you, brother. Thank um, you, know, I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody for watching me gain weight over these years. It's all good. Been... Me and you got the same kind of dad vibe <laughs> popping off. You know what I mean? It's, it's weird. This is big up top. Oh, see, that's, see, that was rude. My see, son's calling me. Glasses, oh, see, if, if you, you had, you had the, the glasses, glasses, your Damn. face would be vibrating. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Do these um, got vibrate? Is that Rita Ora? No, that's my wife. Okay. Yeah, no, that's yeah, the wife. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, it's crazy because I, I, I feel like uh, he said Rita Ora. I just saw Rita Ora in I Vegas. Got, that was a crazy compliment just then. Bro. Hey, you that got something you want to tell us? That was, that was a subliminal ass. You like, got something bro. you want to tell us? No. Rita I mean, Ora? Well, yeah. I Rita Ora is beautiful. Absolutely. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That was uh, I, 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 I'm digging myself. You have real so <laughs> I keep doing this. It's okay. It's entrapment. I keep digging myself home. It's man. entrapment. I'm not gonna, <laughs> we're not going to sit and talk about your wife. Uh, it's all good. Uh, pain. Um, do you feel like, like I, you know, I, like I said, man, I feel like you're so influential. I feel like you've got just classic so projects. Bad. It's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it is no, bad. No, don't put that shit in the shot. <laughs> Okay, good. All right. Um, do you feel like you get the credit you deserve when it comes to just just the influence that you've had on on music, man? From from my peers, from uh, you know other musicians and things like that. But you know the public get told to give credit to who you know who deserves it. They they get told who deserves they the do credit. They get told that, and it's uh, it's not accurate. And it's it's really a regime pushed by people that need to be paid attention to and people that need that push at the time. So, you know, if it's not in anybody's corporate interest to have T Pain be in the forefront, then that's not what's gonna happen. Right. And that's not what we're gonna be pushed and we're not seeing T Pain songs on TikTok and shit. Hey, and by the way, <laughs> I, hey, no, 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 no. I just got a TikTok endorsement and I opened it up and on the trending songs, the first song was Get Your Roll On. I we, swear to God, on my like, I'll show you. Like, good stuff. We may have paid for that. You might. No, I'm joking. We didn't do that. We didn't. There it. may or may not have been a check. No, but, <laughs> but like, it is. It's just interesting because, like, like when you started. I mean, obviously, out after the nappy head shit. When right, you started right. as T Pain, mm -hmm. rapper turned singer, was crazy album. Um, like the auto tune thing was very specific to T Pain, and now right, right. I feel like there, you really can't listen to anyone who doesn't use auto tune. It's a weird thing. Juice it's World, a weird Posty, thing. It's Travis. Being, it's even being introduced into like the the TV world, to where you know even just TV shows are are you know taking notice of it, and you know it's cartoons. Like I always watch Cartoon Network, and there's of course. cartoons being auto tuned and things like cartoons that. Cartoons are in auto tune. Yeah, it's weird, bro. Like I don't think anything would have. <laughs> gone that far if I didn't bring it out. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't, you know, influence the whole the culture right now and, and it just seems like auto tune is actually important. I've heard you say that Travis like uses auto tune like he's like the best guy you've ever seen use auto tune as opposed to yourself. Like it's like since you He uses it the best live. Live, okay. Well continue. The the, the Super Bowl thing fucked me up. I really thought it was gonna do better at the Super Bowl. But other than that, every time I've heard Travis guy use auto tune, it's been like his engineers are great and he knows where he can go with it and you know it seems like he's rehearsed it enough to be able to use it live everybody else is just it's rough it's just it's so rough and it's just like you can't auto tune works off of one voice mm -hmm. so when you uh when you introduce one voice to it 
uh, it sounds amazing and you can do whatever you want to. When you start using it live, now you're introducing your voice and the crowd mm -hmm. into your microphone. It's a lot harder to pull it's, off. Uh, oh, my God. It's so much harder to pull off. So when Travis does it and it actually sounds good, then that's... I, I know the work it took to go into. I feel like Travis and Ty got it down. I don't think Ty uses it on stage. Ty, he does. On he live? Did, did 100%. I'm, I may not have seen a, a Ty Dolla Sign live show. No, he's amazing, but I, I, I've, I've DJed oh, for yeah, every time. Yeah, well, I, oh, well, every time I see him like in a club and he's just like singing his songs. Right, right, right. Yeah, you know, sounds pretty what good. What about like the, the new generation? Like obviously Juice World's a, a kid who I think is a great songwriter mm -hmm. who's... Talented, it's, makes Juice great music. Great song. Um, what What are your thoughts on on like these new kids? You know, Posty uses a lot of uh, auto tune as well. Not a lot, but a, a tad. I think it's just a the tip. sound. I think it's the sound, man. I mean, when I was coming up, what we would do, you know, not me, but you know, what uh, I saw a lot of artists do, but they would just go on iTunes to see what the top ten is, and, and their A and R's would just say, just make ten of those. Wow, that's so crazy! Like, just, for like, real? Absolutely. What's the number one song popping right now? It's a T Pain song. Just so make ten of those. We got an album. Wow. Let's put this thing out. Like, it's, like, I've seen this happen like millions of times. It's it's weird, but it also worked. When I first <laughs> like when I first when I first started getting a paycheck in radio was Ooh. like in your reign. Like I remember specifically Two Pistols from Tampa and Dalla. Yeah. Right, right. Had the two songs. It was Who the Fuck Is That? And uh, She Got she It. She Got It, yep. And they were beefing with each other. Were they? Yes. I wasn't a part of that. It was you know, <laughs> but it, it was just so crazy because it was like there was just so much T-Pain on the radio. And like I remember my program director, shout out to Bruce St. James. He was like, yo, we don't got enough room for like both of these songs. We got to pick I one. I heard that a lot. <laughs> and we I picked that a lot. I heard that a lot. But it was uh, apparently there's like an algorithm or a machine that has to separate artists so y'all don't play the same artists back to back. It used to be like and, that. It's not as much no more. And um, when I was doing my thing, I heard a lot of those machines like malfunctioned. Like, what the fuck? T Pain is on like, It was like telling Siri to, to, to divide by zero. It is not great. You That's just, crazy. It is like you can't. It, the machine's sole purpose was to make sure artists don't come back to back. So even if it's a featured artist right. and it's a, a feature of T Pain, it's supposed to make sure that those songs are yeah, separated. The, it's, so yeah, it selector yeah. automatically separates the artist separation. Thing. Absolutely. So it don't make it seem like it's my birthday or some shit, and then you know, just playing a bunch it of songs. It sounds like it would, for a while right. there it would be like, "Yo, did T Pain die?" No, she, it's, <laughs> it's just T Pain. It's just that. But, but it's the, like the, I think the only artist who's come close to that is, or 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 exceeded that has been Drake. Absolutely. Where it's like, no questions. No questions. Well, I remember uh, Lil Wayne. You and Lil Wayne ran everything. Well, we were trying to, we were, it was a friendly competition going on. We were trying to do that. That Is was it, actually, that was intentional. I don't you, think Drake's was intentional. No. Not. <laughs> Drake's was just like, Drake just was like, oh, this is a cool beat. Be a shame if somebody put a dope verse on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did y'all, did you and uh, Wayne ever do that album? Did yeah, that, it that, came that out. A, yeah, it came out. No, I'm talking about another one. The second one. The second one. We just started. You just started it. We just started. T Wayne 2. Yeah. Because okay. the first one was a bit dated, right? Like, yeah, that was yeah, like yeah. older that shit. That was like 09. Yeah, 09. yeah. So yeah, we got, like, that was like more like, we yeah, have here, here you go, fans. 2019. It's really, it started out uh, being comprised of all the shit that didn't make this album I just dropped. Mm. Oh. It's still very dope because there's only 12 tracks on this album. So I had a lot of shit I wanted to put Did on this album. Did the song with Daniel Caesar make this album? That's his song. Oh, that's his song. That's okay. his song. I, yeah. I, I, I that's heard his some. Song. I heard some uh, stuff that was supposed to be on your album. Man. It was a lot. It was, was a, a lot. It was a lot. I was supposed to do a song with Daniel Caesar for my album, but it just what it didn't uh, line up with his schedule. Uh, but you know, no big deal. Don't line up with your schedule. Don't do mine. But you know, call me one million times through your joint. That's fine. Well, no cheers. Cheers to Daniel Caesar. <laughs> cheers, <laughs> Daniel Caesar. Cheers. Cheers. Are you feeling better from what you know? From all that. Um, hey, do you ever? <laughs> this song got played at my wedding. Dude, this is really gross. It's, <laughs> you can't drink the shit. I have to. Oh, okay. Absolutely. You got to maintain a certain. Absolutely. You got to stay on the level, level, baby. You would think, yeah, you would, you would think that I would just be that, be this person all the time. This is some really bad, bad uh, tequila we're drinking so for bad, the though. people watching. It's really bad. It tastes like it's just so gross. It tastes yeah. like socks. Yo. <laughs> it tastes like socks. It tastes like. Why do you know what socks taste like? Is the I mean, I've eaten socks. You've eaten socks, consumed it, or you just chewed on it? No. Nah. It was just, you know. Was, sexual situation. Right. It was a sexual situation. Hey, do you still got that situation worked out? Uh, it, it, you know what I'm saying? I, 
I don't. Which situation? No. You gotta I, use your words. Specific. I used to envy. <laughs> How I used to tell my five year old. I used to envy you. What do you say to me and my wife still fuck girls? Still I used this? to envy that situation. Oh, you? absolutely. We still, yeah. No, that's still a thing. I mean, I've been it, trying to talk a woman into that. You don't but, talk, you, that, that, that's why it hasn't worked because you can't talk a woman. It has to be her choice. Oh. <sighs> You gotta let her make the hey choice. Hey man, listen, you need I need your wife to talk to somebody for me to show, show her the ways of the it's Jedi. Still, it's still not gonna be that girl's choice. Or woman. And you and your wife have been married how, how, how 16 many years? years. And I just got married like three months ago. His girl ain't going for it. <laughs> nah, my girl's crazy. <laughs> she got he got married a Latina. She, she's shabby, with bro. the shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The the most important thing is to not try to do it with somebody prettier than Oh, you, know, you gotta do it with goons. Smart. Yeah. Oh, so like you the burly, the, the you burly do it with the one. grenades, or or just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, <laughs> everybody got to jump on a grenade. Oh, that's, and also, <laughs> shout out to everybody that's had a threesome with me. And my wife. I'm not saying you're not pretty. <laughs> you're just not as pretty as, as my his wife. wife. My wife is fucking beautiful, my nigga. Like yo, uh, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm my bad. You know what? I still love y'all. Hey, please come back to the house. So there hasn't been in no questionable <laughs> looking stop, ones though. Stop saying you don't have a car. Well, <laughs> there's been some questionable looking ones though. No, 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 no. I mean, keep in mind, my wife is making these charges. She, she, picks, she, she, she ain't trying to bring a fucking Chibuga wolf into the room. <laughs> well, I, we call them goons. You know what I'm saying? Girl goons. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch look like Debo. <laughs> no, more like Damon. It's Damon built like a bag of plates. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah. I can think of a few of them a right bag now. Bag of plates. <laughs> oh um, Jesus. <laughs> Woo. That's All right, anyway, here we go. So pain. God is good. So pain. We um, love you, God. Um, Take us back. Uh, you know. Oh, Jesus. I've never got to interview you before. There's always things I want to know. Um, you go like you, you were I feel a part like of was, this was supposed to happen a while ago, and then something. It, it definitely was. I'm sure. Okay. I, I think I might have interviewed you real quick in Vegas, like eight years ago, but it was like it was it was super fast. Uh, uh, he's quick. That's weak. Uh, no, but um, you know, take us back. You know, obviously started with Nappy Heads, uh, big group in Florida, big group in the South. Right. Had some regional success. <laughs> um, how do you go from that to signing with Akon and, and Convict Music and, um, and becoming T Pain? I think I think it was just looking for an opportunity to uh, branch myself out. It was coming to a point where all the nappy heads, you know, I, I don't know why everybody thought it was being real secretive, but I was making all the beats for nappy heads mm -hmm. and I was doing all the hooks, and then everybody thought that it was a secret that every member of the group was recording a solo album. Mm. So, <laughs> like, everybody. I was literally the only person not recording a solo album because I didn't have time. Because you I was, was doing everything I was for everybody, everybody else. else. Wow. <laughs> so I didn't have time. But when I started recording a solo album, I was like, what the fuck is this? And I'm like, that's not, you, you can't say nothing about anything because I just literally recorded your solo album. So, you know, but... I don't know, man. I don't think I was trying to stand out or anything like that. I just had other ideas that w that wouldn't fit uh, on a nappy head album. Makes you sense. You know, so you know, I just had other ideas. You and guys I wanted songs like "Robbery," which we just talked about off there, which right. is one of my favorite fucking records. And I wanted to sing, like I wanted to, you know, make harmonies and do different things like that. And you know, it, those things just wouldn't fit on nappy head songs and stuff like that. So once I started doing it, I started gathering attention from different people. Mm. And you know, uh, Akon's "Locked Up" came up. And you know, I was, I had just I had just got into a record pool, so once I got into a record pool, I started getting all these records that I didn't know what was happening. These all these new releases, and mm -hmm. I was actually getting vinyl, which was just heavy. <laughs> which record? Well, let's shout out the record pool. Was this? What, are you from Tallahassee? Oh, was it TJ's? DJ's? DJ's. I was about sure. to say, was it TJ? Yeah, it had sure. to be no TJ. Question. Yeah, so shout I out to TJ. TJ Absolutely, I got into I got into uh, TJ's record pool. And uh, I got the, the Akon Locked Up record, and it had an instrument on the record. And at the time, we were doing a, a Nappy Heads beat jacking mixtape. Uh -huh. So we were doing a full, just, I, I just had so many instrumentals on these on these vinyls. It was like, let's, let's, do, make, let's yeah. run it. Right. So we ran like a 45-minute joint straight through one track. And when mine came up, mine was locked up, and I did uh, Fucked Up to it. And, you know, I was just, you know, talking about my struggles and stuff like that, and Akon heard it. Uh, you know, a few people around Akon heard it. You know, my homeboy Greg and, you know, Boo, Akon's mm -hmm. brother, yep, heard yep. it. And uh, they took it to Akon, and they was like, man, you remind us of what Akon was going through at your age. And Akon was like, you remind me of me. And then they didn't know I shot a video to it. And oh, then shit. I was doing my whole thing. I shot the whole video to it. And, you know, we did that. And then Akon was like, man, this is awesome. But my dad, 
also was a, was my manager at the time. So we were, um, you know, I also, when Akon saw an interest in me, I started writing stuff for Akon. Ah. So I, I really was supposed to be signed as a writer. I wasn't supposed to be an artist. So I wrote I'm Sprung for Akon. Wow. Wow. And this was the time around he had... Um, Soul Survivor. Yeah. With, uh, with, Jeezy. with Jeezy. And Soul Survivor was doing so good that Akon legit told me, uh, we don't make songs for girls at all. Well, Akon was like, a lot of people forget that when Akon first came out, he Akon had ghetto. Was he was on that, that thug shit. Thug shit, for real. For real, that whole and first album. Like, yeah, so I, when I wrote I'm Sprung for Akon, they was like, we don't make songs for girls, and we need to get you on this thug shit. And I'm like, I guess. I, I just have dreads. I have not. I have not committed murder yet. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's like a thing you require for me to be on your label, but I just don't. I just. I don't feel like. Convict. I don't feel like that's. I don't feel like. <laughs> right. I don't have any, <laughs> I don't, pending felonies. I don't feel like that's my lane. Right. 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 <laughs> but so I just kept making girl songs, and and once I did the song, and then he, you know. Or, you know, lack of better terms, he rejected it. I took it to the club that night, and I was like, "Yo, can you play this and see if people like it?" And the DJ played it. Shout out to Jay Quick. Jay Quick did not play it once I gave it to him, and then I took it from Shout him. Shout to Jay Quick. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, I gave him the record, and he didn't play it all night. And then when Phil Mob walked into the club, he played every Phil Mob record that has ever existed. Oh, my God. So I took the record back and gave it to Felicia Fox in Tallahassee, and she played it on the radio twice. And she was like, this is a fucking smash. Smash. Shout out to Felicia Fox. And Jay Quick. And, and Jay Field Quick. Mob. And Phil Mob also. S Smoke. I forget the other guy's name. Sean yeah. Jay. Yeah, Sean Jay. And they Smoke. were also signed to Nappy Boy for a while. I, wow, I did not know that. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta read, you gotta read these things. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta get I knew it. they were on DTP. Was this post they were, DTP? They were. They were post G, D, uh, DTP. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Those guys good. Yeah. good. But you know, um, as far as the transition, it was letting go of letting go of the 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 dream. Mm. You know, it was, uh, you know, because like I said, my dad was my manager. And when I had I'm Sprung blowing up, you know, TJ was taking us around and TJ was taking us to different clubs and stuff. But, you know, there were different labels involved. Like Akon was signed to Interscope Records. Right. And Interscope Records offered me a $900,000 signing bonus. Which yeah. is crazy. As a as of 18 year old. What? That sounds crazy. Out of Tallahassee, too. Out of Tallahassee, and at this very moment, there's no lights on in your house. You can't like, at, the, at, at this very moment, <laughs> my studio's been run off a generator outside, and wow. we can't run it past 11 o'clock because that's when the law says the noise on this kicks in and all that stuff, so we have to read up a lot. But at this very moment, I have no power in my house. We can't pay for gas to get to the airport to fly to Interscope Records. They're offering us these things, and you know, we went to uh, Atlantic, which was offering $700,000, but everybody was offering all these things for the single. Wow. Mm, just for the one record. Just for the one record. I went to Akon and Akon said, Bro, I got twenty grand and a career. I can guarantee I'd give you I give you twenty grand. I know that's not a lot of money, but I guarantee you're gonna have a career and not just a song. And that's and at that time Akon wasn't seen as a mogul or right. as a right. So you really took a gamble. I, absolutely. That's but a big but the way the way he was talking, it was like you know, when I went to all these companies, they was like, I love this song. I love this song. What can we do? Can we get another song? Can we do this song? And Akon was like, I love you. I love what you're doing, and I want to make sure you have a long career. Wow. And it was the, he was the only person talking like that. And I wasn't in it for short money. I was in you it trying to, to I was, I was trying to get the long play going, so he was the only one talking about it, so I went with him. That's crazy. You know bro. what I'm saying? And I literally ran away from home in order to sign with Akon. That's fucking wow. crazy. You know, I've never heard this. That's crazy. Bro, my dad left the house. Boo was at my house. Mm -hmm. My dad left the house to go get gas, to go to the uh, airport to go sign this Interscope deal. And Boo was like, dude, I don't know what you're going to do, man. I can tell you, you can make a choice right now, and we can leave. We can go to Atlanta, or you can wait on your dad to get back and go be miserable. So you just bounced. I was like, you know what? Let me pack up my shit right now for my dad to get back. We literally passed by my dad leaving my house. Oh, shit. Yeah. 
It was crazy. Did your pops like ever like was that like something you had to get I over? I threw my phone out of the window. Like I threw my cell phone out of you, the window. That had to be a big phone and back then. It was too. a flip phone. It was a flip yeah. phone. Yeah, it was absolutely. It was, an, it was a next tail. We had a we had a scammer on the team, so we got everybody next tail. So it was crazy. Yeah, we had so, <laughs> Florida, the land of the scammers. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. No, it happened. Uh, statute, uh, limita- <laughs> statute of limitations is yeah, passed. Yeah, uh, uh, hey man, uh, Best Buy, you got you got to you got to step up the security. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was it was this was, 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 was two thousand three. Yeah. That's fucking crazy, bro. It's 2003, Yo. so, you know, I literally ran away from home, passed by my dad when he was coming to pick me up to take me to the airport to sign this Interscope deal, and I was running away, and I threw my phone out the window, and I just didn't contact anybody but my wife. I had my wife, you know, on speed dial on Boo's phone. Boo was the one that took me to Atlanta and made sure that nobody could contact you me. You made the right choice. Absolutely. Absolutely. Here we are. Here we are, man. <laughs> it, it, it's the cr- worst to Kayla. <laughs> Ever, <laughs> it's, it's so smoky. It's like a smoky taste. It literally tastes it's, like it, it tastes like Donald Trump's saliva. If, I don't know if, what that tastes if, like. If he smoked like if he smoked... four cigarettes a second, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, fair, fair enough. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Right. Cheers to yeah, that. Let's keep drinking this. For some let's reason. do it. Oh. There you go. It's so bad. Obviously, <laughs> you had a crazy run, and it's still going, man. I mean, I, I feel like uh, like the album you dropped last year was super slept on. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but that was that that had a purpose. Uh, it was slept on because I I kind of wanted it to be slept on. I heard that. Yeah, Why? I heard, I heard. It, it was it was a uh, you had to get, get get out of a I situation. Had get, I had to get out of my situation. Got gotcha. you. And they wouldn't let me get out. Of, like literally, you I had to drop an album. Like yeah, I had to drop an album. Like I literally called the president of the label and was like, "Please drop me." And it was like, "We're, we're no." We have T Pain. You think I'm what? You think we're gonna let somebody else get T Pain? No, that's not happening. Click. He actually hung up on me. It's pretty cool. Um, that was a boss fucking move though. What a boss fucking move. Just hang up on the artist. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, you think oh no, we're not letting you go. Peace, nigga. Um, <laughs> and then, you know, the one like I, I I feel like there was that point where where Ho dropped Death of Auto Tune. Yeah. I remember you were you were at Summer Jam, right? Absolutely. You Absolutely. were at Summer Jam and it just felt like it it just felt like at that time like a lot of like the hip hip hop purists right, right, were, right were like turning their back you on. You know what's crazy about that whole day and that whole thing? I planned to do that exactly how we did it, but what was the worst thing earlier that week? All my management was just like, dude, you're on so many songs. You have to just calm down. You have to. You have to calm down. You're on so many songs. You need to stop being on songs. <laughs> and I was like, cool, I'll do that. Bam. But it's the timing of that. When mm-hmm. the Jay-Z put that out was already a time to where I was like, I'm just going to stop being in the limelight for a while. So now it looked like It looked Jay- like that did it. Right. <laughs> like, and then mind you, you're in New York. He does it in right. New York. Right. You're there in New York at Summer Jam. Right. It's so almost like he put, put Prodigy on the screen, but you stand on the side of the stage. And my management was like, we still, I know you don't want to do this, but you still need to not be in the limelight for a while. And I was like, this is going to be bad. And it was like, nah, your songs, well, you still got songs out, and people are still going to like the songs. I'm like, I don't think people are going to like these songs anymore because Jay Z told them not to. Well, do you, <laughs> well, I wanted to ask you because I feel like I feel like what, what happened to me, at least, that extended the auto tune shit and just made it like mm-hmm. stay was. Um, 808s and heartbreaks. Absolutely. I feel Kanye, like Kanye kept auto tune going while I was gone. Because sure. I feel like, like at that point in time, Kanye and I still feel like he has that power. Obviously, where it, like Kanye can shift shift music. Absolutely. He's like one of the few people throughout the Absolutely. history. Of He's so mainstream that, that whatever he does, that's what gets paid attention to. And I feel like 808s and heartbreaks like kind of just worked on erased that whatever Jay Z did. Right, and I worked on that album, and Jay Z was still, you know. Doing the on, on the the I put on remix with with Jesus. Oh, I remember that. And he was like, "Yo, put some auto tune on me." And he did it. Yeah, I put it on. And I like, remember I don't that. Need no auto tune. And then the next verse is Kanye using auto tune for the whole mm-hmm. verse. It's so weird. So hey, weird did, thing. <laughs> did you ever feel some kind of way when he he took the auto tune shit and called it heartbreak? Uh, only in the studio. In the studio. In the studio when I was working on 808s with him. She- and and he was and he was you know he told me straight to my face it was like, I'm. Basically, I'm taking your shit. <laughs> what he said verbatim, like I'm. A- no, no. He he told me that rapper turned singer. My first album was cool as hell because it was a bunch of love songs mm-hmm. with a ton of bass in Facts. every love song. And he was like, he basically said you didn't know how to market it right. Damn. 
But you had a great album. His like your your first album was a ton of love songs with a bunch of bass. And I took that as love songs being eight oh eight and heartbreaks. Yeah. And a ton of bass being eight oh eight. Did you show like did you kinda help Kanye master the auto tune thing? Because I feel like back then it wasn't as easy as it is now. Now there's so many plugins um, that most most anybody He was can... he was doing pretty good back then. I was just there for inspiration. You know what I'm saying? I was I was writing different hooks and stuff like that and uh you know, he had me in a room upstairs in the studio doing, you know, hooks to all the beats. Everything that made it, I pretty much, you know, did a hook on. But he would come upstairs and hear what I was doing, grab inspiration from that, go downstairs and record a completely different song. I always say to that about beat. I, well, I always <laughs> say that about Kanye. What Kanye does is he samples people. Like, Absolutely, no question. Like you'll have Kid Cudi sure. or, or when like Travis Scott was around during the Yeezus recording process. Absolutely, and like he'll and like, it, and, it, and it's just what it is. It's a process, you know what I'm saying? And, and we can't fault him for that. For you know, wanting, you know, it's inspiration. It's 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 inspiration. He's not you know taking anything from anybody unless it's my first album. But other than that, is you know, it's pretty good. Cool. This is so gross. <laughs> That's I'm hilarious. Dreading drinking this right. Hey, now. speaking of that, the king of R&B, Jacquees, right? Uh -huh. So, <laughs> um. <laughs> is he shorter than Bobby Valentino? <laughs> hey, he, he started laughing. They're the same height for sure. Um, Jacquees and Bobby Valentino, same height. Minus no the, the horrible escort experience. Well, no, nah, I think Bobby Valentino is taller than Jacquees. I don't know. On the low. Very possible. <laughs> oh, no, no. Very very possible. Bobby Valentino is the shortest human being I ever met in the music industry. Nah, I think Jacquees. <laughs> in the music industry. Not just in regular He could be life. a jockey. He could ride horses for a living. That's too good what you're doing right now. <laughs> That's so great. That was a real good assessment of how tall he is. So, I'm, when you jumped on the LMA song, right? Uh huh. Um, oh, that's our shit, by the way. Yeah, we play that shit. Oh, that's thank the only you. version of the song I play. That's a thank, fact. You can tell you. him that's the only version of the song that's I play. That's the only version you play. That. That's dope. Do you feel like you did better than LMA on LMA song? No, not at all. Because because a lot of people feel like that. I feel like there's a just a difference in Your what we do. Your team mixes be just making fools of a lot of these motherfuckers. You know why? Because I have a reference point. True. Uh, I have a reference that makes point, sense. so I can, you know, what I'm saying, like, uh, I always, I always take it back to, you know, the new Star Wars movie that uh, uh, Donald Glover is in. Uh, yeah, and so everybody, and, and everybody's like, how's Donald Glover play a better Lando Carithian than Billy D. Williams? I'm like, Billy D. Williams didn't have a, a reference. He got, like, he he got can, something to go off of and build and master. Absolutely, yeah, you got that something makes to, sense. You got something to see. Mm -hmm. Only thing, the, the, what, the way I approach my team mixes is how didn't they do this? I always look at, I listen to the song and I say, what rhythms didn't they do? Because I don't want to go with the same rhythms. I want to do something completely different. Maybe I need to, if they went slow, I want to go fast. If they went fast, I'm going to go slow. And just, I'll just, I'll just try to do the opposite and insert the missing uh, vibes that the song could have had. What made you want to fuck without the boot up? I, I only do remixes to song I really, really, really like. Incredible like record. I have to like it, and then, you know the the amount of people that hit me up every day, like bro, you need to do a team mix of this, and I'm like, I don't like that fucking song. Wow. <laughs> I would need to, like I'm not. What's a song that somebody asked you to do a, a team mix to that you not fucking with? I'll tell you what, something I'm halfway fucking with that I could, but uh, and another reason I don't do team mix of certain songs is because I don't think I can make it better. And one of those examples is uh, Drip Too Hard. I don't think mm. I can make that song any better. That song is perfect. Yeah. Facts. That song is perfect. That, that, nobody can do anything else to that song that's going to make it better. Hey, speaking of that, how do you feel about Gunna? Gunna look... Gunna's a shit. Okay. Gunna's fucking awesome. I've been singing fucking Drip Too Hard all day. It's been weird. Lil Baby, same thing? <laughs> Lil Baby, same thing. Lil Baby, same thing. I don't like his shoes. <laughs> Does he wear the chunky shoes? You don't fuck with the chunky shoes? I can't do chunky nah, shoes. hell no. Well, I did the Balenciagas for like a week. Nah, that's the a worst week. shit ever. Yeah, I did the week, but Them I, shits I are, can't do are like... Sketchers, bro. Like, remember when like the... Uh, like, remember when like Young Dolph did the, the shiny Versace joints? Yeah. Like, I, I... like. Have you seen the shoes that look like they got fucking... The, the fucking goddamn jewels on them? The My Little Pony shoes? <laughs> Dog. That's Them hilarious. Them shits is crazy. Them shits look like the Avenger A1 joints. has been wearing those a lot. <laughs> A1 has been anyone. wearing the shit out of them shoes, and I just, I don't want to punch him in his balls. <laughs> like, take well, that's, that's physical assault. Take goddamn shoes off. It is, it is, you can go to jail no, for that. That ain't it, champ. <laughs> Those shoes aren't going to age well, are they? That's going to be one of them joints where it's like, in 10 years, it's going to well, be like a meme. Them, you can turn them into something. They have future purposes. You can take the chains off and just wear those. Well, if, you set up a, if, you, if you're setting up a tent somewhere, you could just tie a shoe to the, each end of the tent. That bitch ain't flying off if it's windy, you know what I mean? stupid. Them shits is... <laughs> Clunky, clunky as hey, a you motherfucker. Got, uh, you got, you got, I'm sorry, you got Tory Lanez on the album. I do got Tory Lanez on the one up album that just dropped now. He's short too. 
Very short. He's not short as short as Bobby hey, Valentino. He is, no, he's not as short as them. But he does, really have, short, want, he does really, have short people complex. I really want Jack Wiggs to be taller. I Me too. Find, <laughs> I just want to find somebody that's taller than uh, that's, that's not as tall as Jack Wiggs and make him feel better. I love Jack Wiggs. You can get an Infinity Stone and make Jack Wiggs taller. So just steal one from one of A1 shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh this, shit! Oh, this whole thing has spiraled out of control. No, I was um, gonna say. I was just about to say. You got Tory Lanez on the album. Right. Uh, you used to be a rapper. Tory Lanez got bars for everybody. Who you feel like could bar, out bar you? You or Tory Lanez? Wait, what? Who can out bar? Who? Who, who can, 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 can out rap? You or Tory? Tory, no question. Tory can out bar. I am you. not a. I've absolutely. Tory is. Tory is a fucking rapper. Because both of y'all do both. Absolutely. Tori's a rapper, though. Like, okay. rap. He's a battle rapper. If it came to a battle, he'd outbar me. If it came to rapping on a song, I'd kill him. Hit so, songwriting, hit. Hit you'll kill him. Songwriting, I'll, I'll fuck Tori up. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. No question. But in a battle, bar for bar, like going at each other and face Some to face. Some lyrical shit. Tori will kill me. No question. Yeah, I can't even, I can't even. I can't even flex like that. Like, yo. Who do you feel like writes songs better than you? Oh boy, Drake. Drake, that makes sense. Drake. I if we talking about hit making, if we talking about hit making. It's for sure Drake. If we talking about just life shit, and just like talking about like real situations mm-hmm. and and you know things that everybody can relate to. I don't think I don't think anybody's fucking. So you're in the studio, right? You working on your your you working on one up, and Drake is in there, and he's like, I think the song will be better like this. You riding with that? No, because we're doing a song. No, I'm saying a hit. He, you, you working on the. Oh, if he's saying, if he's saying, yo, we need to make three singles right now. Here's what I got. Absolutely, I'm going with what Drake says. All right, I respect, I, I respect that. Absolutely. <laughs> yo, um, I feel like somebody that you also have like a crazy chemistry with, like classics with with is Ross. Um, right, right, yeah, Ross, Ross, bro, Ross like you, you and Maybach music, hot, bro. Man. Ross hits a different like demographic. Music, I just feel like, like, the, like the cinematicness of the records y'all got together. Ross, Ross is a different, de, a different demographic. Shout out to cinematic conceptually, music. like his songs can be played on the radio and things like that. But when you really sit down and listen to a Ross song, your mind just goes to a whole different. Like you can tell Ross ain't trying to make hits. This man is. He's this making man an is, album. This man He's is making best album. ear for production in hip hop. Period. That's what I always say. <laughs> Absolutely. Think about like the, the run. The, he put the runners on. He the put Justice League. Justice League. The, come, come on. Oh man. my goodness. Just, Are you on Port of Miami too? No. No. Okay. I mean, it's, not no. yet. I have not been to Miami in a long time, and I need to go down there. But I keep keep getting in trouble. Like like trouble with the wife. Law. Law. No, I'm talking with the wife. It's just not great. It's not a great place. And to, it's not a great place. Oh, he be a not a great place to be married. Yeah, t- <laughs> <laughs> not a great place to be married. Yeah, like Miami, Miami's not great to be married. I'm a strip club guy because I'm a connoisseur of strip yeah. clubs. Uh, Miami's got the big ones, which is like Tootsie's, and obviously shout out rest Huge. in peace. Huge. Rest in peace to KOD. Uh, but then there's like smaller spots like the Office. And, yeah. RIP to KOD. What is, the what Office was, is fire. G5 is fire. G5 got the best wings. They got the midgets. It's crazy. But what's your go-to strip club in America? Like, if you had to go in to one America, strip club. In America, are you saying the best? What's, 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 what's the one you've been to? It's Chicago like, has a strip club called Ocean. Have you? Oh, my God. They in there dancing to Chief Keef and Lil Dirk? Bro. <laughs> they are. They are. But there's literally a goddamn moat in the middle of the club. With water in it. Bro. Full Pool in the middle of the club. Full oh, pool. Fuck. The, like a five the foot. strippers are in the pool. And it's like a lazy river. So they're just like getting in tubes. And they're they're in like, tubes? They're just like floating. Oh, you can like pick them like with the claw you game. Can't, it's, I have not heard that described like but, but You know the claw game? Accurate. You, That's some shit from Toy Story. The aliens. Accurate, yo. Yo, it's called Oceans, and it, the whole thing is just full of water. The whole that the sounds whole like thing. it could be very unsanitary. Like, that water might be, like, a little cloudy. The only thing that fucked it up for me is when I, I went there, and I keep thinking that's me. Why is that? Why are I getting that's Snoop. Me? That is Snoop, yes. He has white shades and dreads. But anyways, um, when I went there, some of the chicks went to the locker room, and they were like, all right, guys, T-Pain's out there, but, you know. He's probably broke down, so don't, you know. Wow. Yeah, and I was like, wow. What? And then one of the girls came out and they told me, but what they didn't know is I had just came from a show that I just got paid cash for. So and you just, I was you were, ready, you were ready. I was ready to go. 
I had I had I had a, a fifteen thousand dollar budget just ready to just and there were, and there was no one else in there. That's this crazy. was probably the best built, the best architecture. The, the this, best, these women the, are not very good. This is literally profession. the best club that I, the best strip club that I've ever been to, and there was a solid, probably three other people in there. Wow. What's the big? And it was huge. It was huge. It was giant. You got to think, if there's room to put a pool in the middle of a club, it's got to be pretty big. That shit's and crazy. And there was a good three other people in there, and then the one person that could possibly have money comes in there and yells at, and they, they and they probably, try to shit on you. Right, absolutely. That's crazy. Hey, what's the biggest bag you blew in the strip club ever? Um, probably twelve grand. Oh, okay. That's that's it. That's, that's, that's gotta be sensible. Modern. And that was, and that was that was Neil's birthday. Like I tried, like I don't, oh, okay. yeah, like I don't. I don't go crazy. I get two grand at a time. Do you depending on how the night's going? Um, yeah, that's that's. I think the most. And I always run the proposition. So if you ever see me in the club and I got two grand, you can either make the two grand or you can make thirty percent of the two grand in the club, or you can just wait until after and come to the crib and get all the whole two grand. It's lit. (laughs) Yo, yo, you've had so many. All right. (laughs) Right. I I feel like. Let's go. I feel like that's fair. You've had you've had so many hit records over the years. Has there ever been a record that you felt should have been bigger than it was that maybe didn't go? Uh, ooh, like wow. what's that one record? You're like, man, how the fuck was this not bigger than what it Drinking was? Drinking Partner. Drinking Partner was my shit. Drinking Partner. That. Oh God. I think that was more or less just labeling and management. It just wasn't. You know, it just wasn't pushed correctly. Uh, what's the T Pain song you hate the most? Freeze. Freeze. I, the, I don't like. I what hate song freeze you hate too. performing the most? I just think of dancers and shit. I hate and, that record. What's that song you hate performing the most? Um. I probably don't perform it. <laughs> right, 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 right. The song I hate performing the most. Well, I mean, you got to do the fan favorites. Sprung. I hate performing. Really? Yeah. Everybody hates they fucking they main like the because we because record, we've though. heard it the longest. Right. Like we've heard it the most for the longest. Right, right. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of. I just played that motherfucker tonight. Sorry. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> West Coast. Yo, I, I, it's crazy. Uh, <laughs> You know, I, just, I, just, I saw you live for the first time about a year, year and a half ago, and like I told that's so weird that it took you that long to see me live. It is weird because I've you been had this one for of the best time. shows I've ever seen. I was gonna say, bro, like when it, I, I saw that show and I was like, you so. automatically were in the top three. Like I got respect for like Tech Nine, right, right. Busta, like oh, Bruno Mars. Show, yo, Tech Nine show is amazing. But I saw your shit, and then you had what you came out the little, the, the, you know what I'm saying? I do the thing. I do the thing with the stuff, Bruh. You know, took that from me. Uh, Justin Timberlake started doing that after I did it. Hey, shout out to Justin Timberlake. Was this I after, love, before, or after y'all did the record together? Love Justin Timberlake. First of all, that's my dude. But, but you know, we could have. So come, Justin Timberlake come and come Kanye. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what we putting on that top was of harsh. the T Pain says. That was harsh. Justin, no, I gotta say, I gotta say, it's coming up with Justin Timberlake. <laughs> <laughs> T Pain says, fuck Justin Timberlake. That's crazy. And everybody with blue eyes. That is crazy. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Why are you <laughs> white people? Where did this come from? Does Justin Timberlake have blue eyes? Does Justin Timberlake have blue eyes? he does. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he no, got blue but, eyes. But I feel like your, your live show is from obviously, Nashville. Obviously, you had to develop that. <laughs> <laughs> that like experts because yo your performance was you know like, you know where I got my show from I got yeah. my show from uh, Buster Rhymes and David Banner where'd you get the Banner's elephants from and shit? Life. those are actually way harder to rent than <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's I hard saw to you rent live a time. it's Bro, hard you to had a full it was during um three was it three, three rings? Was it during three rings? I think during it was during three, three rings. rings. It's the only time I rented elephants. Bro, <laughs> you had the most amazing fucking stage show I've ever seen. I tried. It was motherfuckers tried. juggling. I, 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 look at it, I, look, I look at everything from a fan standpoint. If I'm not entertained by my own self, then I, what what the hell am I doing in front of these people? But even like if you take all that bullshit away, like the elephant, I saw you like a year ago. <laughs> Just with nothing. And it was fucking, I was blown away. It's pretty cool. Like, yo, what was But you, what, know, what help, you know what helps? Because I'm a DJ too. So I kind of DJ my show. You do? Like I make my, I make all my, the show versions of my song. Even when the band, the band is involved, I, I make I sure I band, do, yeah. yeah, I make sure I do every part of the band. I make, the bass does this, the drums does this, and I make sure I DJ my shows. So it's 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 a, uh, you know, a, a lot of my show uh, relies on the element of surprise. You know, you don't, you know, when you, when you go to some of these people's shows and they like start singing the hooks to the song they're about to do, it kind of kills when they start doing the song. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't have any impact. It's just like, don't stop telling people what your set list is. You might just read your set list at the beginning of the show and just tell people what the order is. Instead, it, instead, just give them the element of surprise. Right. And just surprise people. That's a lot of that. And I, I DJ my show, and a lot of the songs that come after songs are the same tempo. Or, you know what I'm saying? I match up tempos and do stuff like that. So I'm literally, I'm literally making my show a party. I'm and literally DJing a party and when do I Do people make my get shows. surprised like, yo, T-Pain can really sing with no auto-tune? <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's a weird thing. I it's a weird, it, you know what? It's not a weird thing because I came out with auto-tune. What, what's weird is that my first single, I'm Sprung, was loaded with auto-tune. And that's what made me different. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, it kind of set me apart from everybody else. But then my second song, I'm in love with a stripper, had no auto-tune. Mm -hmm. And people still call me the auto tune guy. Mm -hmm. So it was I know like, that there was no auto tune on that. Oh, we can we can play it right now if you want. That's crazy. Because, <laughs> you just is yeah. So I'm in love with the stripper. It really didn't. It, you know, it, I think I'm in love with the stripper had two one second parts that had yeah, auto tune on it, just to get the you know familiarity from my first single. Right. You know, but you know, to have a second single with basically no auto tune and still being called the auto tune guy, and still even after that, like, oh, that's the guy that uses auto tune. It's like, no, there's a second song that y'all love more than the first one that didn't have auto tune. Y'all mm. still the auto tune guy? That's it wild. was kind of weird. So it was, you know, I had to embrace it. I just said, fuck it. You know what? If that's what it is, if that's what's gonna help me, uh, you know. Buy condoms and not diapers, then yeah, let's do it. Um, <laughs> we mentioned we mentioned Tech Nine for a second. You were one of the that. first like <laughs> I'm trying to carry the one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you were one of the first like mainstream commercial huge artists that embraced Tech Nine. You did the fuck food record, the oh breaking into God. colored houses. What made you? Tech, I'm a big fan of Tech. It's a good friend I'm of a mine. Huge Tech Nine. What fan. made you like, it was fuck just, with Tech Nine and, and embrace his, his, his whole world. thing? His whole his whole the image. You know, it's rapping. You can actually rap, and he can. You know, I was a big, 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 big fan of of speed rapping. So you know, I was a big, I was a big Twister fan. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Chris Calico was one of my one of my biggest influences. Very like, talented guy who doesn't oh get enough love. Oh my goodness! Singing, rapping, Chris he can do it all. Chris Calico, dude. Oh my god. Me and Chris Calico was about to do an album together. That'd be crazy. Coast. <laughs> let's, let's, let's put West that Coast on indeed. paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was about to be crazy, you know. But you know, he started going on tour. I went on tour. It was just a, a disconnect. But we had we had a few things. But um, now just being a just being a fan of everything that Tech Nine was doing, you know, how could you not? You know, I agree. It's just weird, and uh, you know, uh, Nicolette, can we get approval to to talk about uh, the uh, the old uh, the TV thing? show thing? Yeah, if we don't we don't drop this interview till the day after tomorrow. Friday. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So T Pain. That was a sigh of relief that you just had. Well, no, because I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to be the asshole that brings it up. And like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. No, so go to so, commercial. So this fucking this mass singer show. Uh huh. I watch the first episode. I hear the monster singing. Solidarity. And I'm like, yo, that's T Pain. <laughs> How? The f it's so obvious that it was T Pain. That makes sense. That makes I know, sense. And even if without take all the clues away, I just heard your voice. Right. And I was like, dog. Yeah, even when they was pitching the show to me, and I was like, I'm not going to make it past the first episode. Everybody's going to know. Like, my voice, like, I've had people at restaurants that weren't even facing me. And they turn just around. When you're talking. They turn around, like, is that fucking T Pain? Yeah. Like, that, that, so it's, yeah. It's just weird. So I was like, These, this is going to be on a national level, and nobody's going to not pick me. Like, nobody's going to not figure and then out. Then you got Robin Thicke on the show, you think, like, yo, Robin it's Thicke, I know who it's it like is. my friend, and Nick Cannon's the host. I'm like, so nobody no. really knew. Like Nick that. knew. Okay, Nick knew. But Nick no knew. There was a there was like a between the between the shots to where Nick was like, uh, I know who this is, mm -hmm. and everybody was like, you you have no idea who this is because we can't figure it out. And Nick was like, I'm gonna write it down, and on the season finale, I'm gonna open this paper that I just wrote down. It's gonna be him, and he 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 had it right off the bat. Mostly because I fuck with Nick in a specific way. I don't like any any shoes that Nick wears, and that Hilarious. got that goddamn turban just has to go. Just Nick's a great guy. We respect. I mean, obviously, you know, I love Nick. I love Nick. But not the God most amount of swagger the, that guy's got. The, the, the shoes. <laughs> he he like he likes a lot of expensive shoes. He, he's one of the people that get shoes because they. Cost At least a lot. he don't got the fucking Infinity Stones on his shoes. <laughs> like A one. Nick is one of the people that gets uh, shoes that just, just because they cost a lot. Though. 
They, they, they can be ugly shit, but you know, <laughs> it'll be, it'll be, you, you'll tell them like, dude, them shoes ugly shit. Be like, but they was seven hundred dollars. It's not fixing it. That ain't fixing <laughs> it. Fixing how they <laughs> look. <laughs> so they they pitch you on doing the Mass Singer. Right. Um, you know there was uh, you know shout out to the, who was on there. Dude from Cheech and Chong, Tommy Chong was on there. Tommy Chong was on there. Was Jerry crazy. Bradshaw. Now backstage, do, do the no, contestants nobody fuck knew with each other? Who nobody anybody know. was. Nobody really? knew who anybody. You didn't like run in anybody anywhere. But like, Bro, oh shit! You, it was so tight. It was so tight. Like this is how tight it was. When I woke up in the morning to go film the show, I had to put on a certain hoodie. I had to put on certain pants. I had to wear certain shoes. I had to wear pants under my pants so nobody would see my skin tone, just in case I got out the car weird. Or anything like that. I had to put a mask on over my face. It was like a visor. It was like a, a long visor, but we had to like put it down over our face. Um, the hoodie that we put on, it said on the hoodie, don't talk to me. So nobody could hear our speaking voice. Wow. Wow. So we couldn't even see each other. If you wanted to bring somebody to set, they had to wear a robe and a mask. Nobody could have anything exposed. Like, like my wife came with me a bunch of times and she had to wear a mask. Wow. Like they wouldn't let you. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Nobody knew who each other was. The only way anybody knew who I was was from my voice, and that's the only way we was trying to figure out each other. Like, and it was so much more tight than what I'm saying because there's twelve contestants. I was in a group of six, and there was a second group of six. My group of six didn't know the second group even existed until like the fourth week. Wow. They produced the fuck out of this They show. produced a, the shit out of this thing. God that, bro, I, could, I, I just couldn't even... Like we we like we that would, seems extreme though like yeah like the judges couldn't talk to each other so what do you do like do you don't run into people like getting some crafts like getting some food like yeah but everybody's covered up you can still you can still run into some of the other performers and everybody have gloves on everybody got their face covered up they got the same hood everybody's wow. dressed the same That's so you don't know who is who you don't know if it's anybody's female or anything you don't know if anybody's male or female you don't know well I mean there they, there are certain things that you could tell if, if there's a woman bro and, uh, if you telling me we got the uh, Hands covered up, hoodies on that say "Don't talk to me." Face covered, hair got to be tied back in the, in the hoodie with the hood up. Oh, shit. everybody looks exactly the same. We literally have a uniform, Dude. like so. It's it's like everybody looks exactly. It's like there was, some, it was, it was some it was some eyes wide shut shit Dude, going um, on. And <laughs> obviously, if I knew it was you, and this is without me knowing, knowing. Donnie Osmond knew. Donny Osmond knew it. He had real did, but 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 I'm sure it's like were your were your fans like hitting you on Twitter or on Instagram like bro is from, that you from the first episode yeah and I couldn't say a word and I tried to play it off too so you win just, the I show failed miserably I did win so I did win so what what like that's crazy um and you're probably the most accomplished musician on there oh no who else was on there Gladys Knight oh Gladys Knight I didn't think of Gladys Knight Donny Osmond. I think you're more accomplished than Donny Osmond, besides yeah, having a I Vegas mean, residency. Uh, fucking Vegas, Vegas residency I for mean, the last we're talking about 20 hit years. <laughs> we're, we're talking about Billboard. I think you got more. I mean, Gladys Knight got 10 Grammys. Okay, I'm not talking about Gladys. I'm talking about Donny Osmond. Shout out to, uh, to all my Mormon homies back in Mesa, Arizona. <laughs> Utah was popping. No, I, I grew up in Mesa. Shout out to all my Mormons. Donny Osmond, that's a real that's a Mormon mafia right there. <laughs> Utah was fine. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, what's up to the homies in Utah? That was crazy. Were you in the same group as Terry Bradshaw? Uh, yeah, the dare, yeah. I was like, there's like, did you know that was Terry Bradshaw? Not even close. I, was, I had no idea. Those are the two. I was like, I called you and I, I the uh, Terry Bradshaw. Most of the people that I found out was doing this shit, I was like, when did these people have time to do this? There's nothing like, and, and people would, and, and I figured out that people would look at me and like, when did Deep ain't have time to do this? But at the same time, like Gladys Knight, like you have to have a tour happening. Like there's no, there's no question. I don't. When do you have time to carve out to go do a weird show like this? Like this whole thing was weird to me, so I can't imagine what it looks like to people at home and just seeing all these How, giant celebrities. Did Nick, did Nick know who each person was, or no, he just you? He, 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 just, he, he I got heard you. he didn't. I heard he purposely didn't want to know, right? Right. Yeah. It made it more exciting for him. I mean, that's kind of boring. Did Hosting you? Show to where you can't how long fucking... ago was this filmed? Oh, it was June. Oh About shit. June. Yeah, last June. Wow. Yeah, it's, I've been, I've, I've been dying. I've been not saying nothing. It's killing me. And then why not drop an album the same day you win? Cause fuck it. <sighs> because the universe. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. 
<laughs> hey, well, congrats on winning the show, man. Um, Hell yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yo, man. what I always wanted to know, like, you know, at a certain point in time in your career, you were the hottest motherfucker on the planet. Mm -hmm. You were the go-to guy everybody wanted to be friends with. And then, you know, obviously there's, everyone has a, a point in time in their career where maybe it's not as hot. Right. Where you kind of find out who your real friends are in music. Absolutely. For sure. Um, what what is that like being on each side of that spectrum? And who can you who can you let us know? Like who who are some people who who Solid. are you consider real friends? Who you know? uh, Neo, Chris Brown, no question. Those are the two main the two main people that stuck by me because most of us stuck by them through all their all bullshit. their shit. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So Neo, Chris Brown. Um, I mean, there's like very few. There's very few that actually was friends with me. Before and after, you know what I'm saying. So I would I would say Neo and Chris Brown, the people that I resonate with the most and that have stayed friends with me. You know, because if I'm not spending twelve grand on my own strip club ventures, then I, you know, Neo comes to the club and I spend twelve grand on and his fucking birthday. People, yeah. Get him pussy. And this is a lot West Coast. West Coast. Hey, you know what? Is that? Is, what, like, never mind. That's that's my shit. He be saying that shit. It's I'm, gotta. It's gotta. Do, do, you, do you say it during sex? Because I've I have. Be. Like, oh, after, I, made, I made her say you it. come? I, I, made her, I made her say it. Like, dang the hood. That's mm. hard. West Coast. That's hard. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> she said both things. Yeah, yeah. She said that's hard uh, and West Coast. No, I told you before we started, like, I'm a fan first. Like, I just want to tell you that. And also, uh, I consider you to be a legend. Do you consider yourself to be one? I, 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 not yet. Not yet, man. Not fuck yet. all that. Not Bro, yet. I want to. I want to. You okay? Go ahead. Sorry. I want to. I want to. I want to be done first. Like I want to be completely done because a legend is like something that could be true or false. You know what I'm saying? And it's like having the legend status in this game right now is kind of like you're a legend. You're done. Stop. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not like you the know. ultimate. The ultimate definition of being a legend is like that. Shit was that. That was sweet. That was sweet, but I'm still doing it. So I'm like, not hanging your jersey up. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying on some real shit. I you literally changed. Got you literally changed the sound of music at one point. You know what I'm saying? Still, right now, it's still the, to the, this day. The and sound it, of music right now is the sound more that I than ever. More it's the than sound ever. That I created. So it's what I'm like, saying is that's to me that's legendary. Legend. I consider you to be a legend. That's why I want to know your um, your take on it. I quick, wouldn't say legend. Can you describe real quick one of the the, the sessions I'm very curious about? Uh, good life. Uh, oh my goodness! Which I feel like at the time was Kanye's biggest record. Holy shit! Um, really helped helped uh, propel that whole. F Describe the session. Yeah, what was that session like, man? The seven sessions. The seven sessions. Yeah, I heard oh. Kanye. Talk about kinda... good life and how and how that Kanye, record was put I would together. love to be the guy that rents Kanye studio time. Because I'm a big Kanye <laughs> fan. <laughs> <Right>. man. <laughs> fucking just, just fuck. I would not like to and be. That was a, like that was like the record that the propelled that whole that whole fucking graduation album right. over Fifty Cent. There's like um, I think even now still I think there's seven features on that record. Mm. And people don't even realize it. It's crazy. It's just, I thought it was it's, you and him. Right. But there's like, <laughs> there's some things in there that people think are samples and are just, not. and are things that he just had people come in and do. Like, I think Jill Scott's on that record. Uh, Dallas Austin is on that record. It's a lot. It's like, he, Kanye is a perfectionist and he will bring whatever it takes and his team will make sure it happens. Whatever. I, 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 I don't, it's so much, man. It's so much of that that it was just like I was the last person to get on the record. And, you know, even when I got to the video shoot. Crazy video. Right after we finished the record, when I got to the video shoot, the record was completely different hmm. from the last time I had heard it. Hmm. Wow. It was. It, 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 so you show up to the video shoot like, what the fuck? <laughs> I had to listen. I, had, I was the only person that had to listen to the song like seven times. Like you're not on it. Yeah, right. So I had to figure this out. Like, I, like it's not me. But he spliced together so many things that I did. We, you know, we had seven sessions for that one song. So every time we had a session, I recorded a new hook to the song. Even the uh, the 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 bridge, the uh, better than the life I right. live. And I thought that's what that's so one crazy. of the that's yeah. one of the hooks I did for the song. Oh, oh wow. shit! Like and he just he made it, it into a bridge. bridge. <laughs> like, so, um, so don't give him access to the session. It, it, right. Like, even, or, even, or give him access to the session and it's even, a fucking hit record. Even uh, throw your hands up in the sky. That was the beginning of one of the hooks that I did. Wow. And he was like, I feel like we can move that. 
to the middle of that, and I can say something before that, and I go, ah, ah, go, go, da, 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 and then, yeah, and so I was like, oh, that, that makes sense. And it but worked. It worked, and he he raced like, he raced like eight hooks that I did. The uh, album is out. <laughs> Pain. One up. Go go get the album. You got Russ on that motherfucker. You got Boozy. Uh, OT Genesis, Tory Lanez, yep, yep, Flip yep. De Niro, absolutely Prophet De Niro. There's another De Niro. It's Prophet De Niro. Yeah, there's a couple De Niros on there. Gotta, gotta represent Tallahassee. He's, he's from Shout Tallahassee. Shout out to Tallahassee, man. Um, yeah, we appreciate you sitting with us, man. And and, and sh- hey, by the way, is that Jackie Chan tattooed on your this hand? This is Jackie Chan. What 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 makes you get a Jackie Chan tattoo? Jackie Chan tattoo. Uh, you know, uh, at this point, I had a lot of stupid people in my life, so it felt instead of just uh, explaining how stupid what you said was, it just felt better to just do that. Okay. And just have Jackie. I mean, Jackie Chan a legend, you know what I mean? Absolutely. And Absolutely. he's on your hand. I still don't understand hey, is that. that. The no, no homo. <laughs> you just explained no, it, no, and no, I'm still... No, this is interesting. Because look like, what the fuck? Did, what? Are you right what? or left-handed? I'm left-handed. Okay, so you ain't jacking off with Jackie Chan's hand. No. Okay. No. Wow. No. Because that'd be weird. That'd well, be weird. I don't know why he wants to know how that information, but... Hey, because you know I, I be watching porn and shit, and I be thinking if Jackie Chan's on the hand I'm jerking off with, I feel... What's your, what's your go-to site? I mean, who has a go-to site nowadays? It's really. I mean, what? I mean, look. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, X videos. That's my joint. Yeah, that's the go-to. X videos I mean, is like solid. Everything else is just is too many ads. You know, let me put you up on one. Yespornplease.com is slept on, and it has the full clips. Let me tell you why. The day though. they drop. Let me tell you why. So like, slept yo, yo, on. the Tiana, it sounds the, fake. The Tiana Trump, <laughs> the Tiana Trump, uh, Vicky Chase joint that dropped. Second it dropped, it was up on there full full fledged for free. And no and no worries about any sort of pop up spam or malware, nothing. Wait, what? Yespornplease.com. Okay, no, 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 no. No, no. That's that's a, that's another issue we're talking here. What tape are you talking about? Uh Tiana Trump came back. Tiana and her Trump first came Trump back. back or her first Trump, her first tape or her first porno back because she was on probation. She couldn't do porn. She couldn't leave the state of Indiana. And her first porno was like a month ago. Can you not do porn in Indiana? Indiana? I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. But, but we had what her I'm up saying here is, talking about it. Uh, Tiana Trump and v- Vicky Chase did a pretty solid scene. It's actually kind of legendary. It was trending on Twitter. And um, yeah, I- I'm going to show you some clips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm actually, yeah I'm, 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 the I'm, ending actually. of that is like, bro, it was trending on Twitter for like a month. Shout out to what? Tiana. Yeah, Yo, listen. What the bro. fuck was that for? No, no, no. It, it's, she's different. Who are your favorite porn, <laughs> hey, who are your favorite yeah. porn stars, Payne? Honey Gold. Honey Gold's the new one. That's it. She's like, she's like half Asian. Ish, right? She got. Yeah. The, she's like like light skin, like yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, she's no. Honey amazing. Gold's a, a champ for sure. Yeah, she's went through a bunch. Did of, you fuck uh, with Skin Diamond before she retired? Nah, mm. nah. Yeah. If honey you like Gold, Honey Gold, you'll like Skin Diamond. Honey Gold went through like a bunch of depression shit that I just I just felt so bad about, and I wanted to help, but you know. But your wife might get mad. Yeah, my wife was like, "Who are you giving sixty thousand dollars to?" <laughs> Oh, it was just like a lot. Okay, okay, like a- <laughs> okay, hun- okay. So Honey Gold is Carried a new- Honey Gold is a newer one. Who's like your like who's like you know like your top two or three Asa. all time? Asa Akira? No question. Yeah, she'd be doing some wild shit. I fuck with Asa. And yeah. I met her and she was really I like, nice. I like her life. I like her. I like her whole. Did you ever see her podcast that she was she She's was doing a podcast? Yeah, I mean, I think. <laughs> Solid. Solid. What have I been doing? Like, with Mike, uh, with, you've been doing with, a television with show. You've been doing your albums. You know what I'm saying? Jacking off a bunch. Some show, yeah, with Jackie Chan. <laughs> well, you and Jackie Chan having moments. <laughs> hey, <laughs> and, and we're going to end the interview on that. <laughs> All right. That's good. That's how you end the interview. T-Pain <laughs> does not jack off with the Jackie Chan hand. I don't. I'm left-handed. So and, stop. Uh, and uh, Honey uh, Gold. You, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Waitresses in restaurants, stop handing me the fucking check on my right side. Last wait. question, last question. <laughs> Have you and your wife ever ran something, a three-way with a celebrity? A uh, porn chick? No, no, no. A porn no. chick? No. No, no. no, no. Okay, just... I really want to, but, you know, no. it's a You also chick. want to stay married. Absolutely. Facts. Fact. Trisha. And, and, and alive. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> yeah. Happy wife, happy life. T-Pain, thank you for coming through, my brother. Absolutely. All day.